Hi everyone, welcome to the next lesson. Now, if you remember last time, we tried to work out the derivative of x squared, and it turned out to be 2x plus 1 when we did it manually, but according to the calculator, it was actually 2x. So, what's the difference? What happens? Well, the, uh, the key difference there actually relies on the concept of infinity. Now, infinity is a complex topic, there's entire courses dedicated to it, and we don't need to go into it too much, but there are a few ideas about infinity that we can talk about today. So um, let's just start off with a quick example. Um, imagine that you have two friends who are walking towards each other, and there's a fly kind of going in between them. So the friends are walking, the fly is sort of touching one person, then the next, and the next, and the next, gets closer and closer until the friends high five, and the fly is squished. Now, it seems like there's sort of an infinite number of paths the fly needs to take, right? It's kind of buzzing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But at the same time, the friends only walk to finite distance. And so this kind of conundrum um, has a resolution. We can ask, well, how far did the fly actually go? If we try to start adding up the infinite pieces, it gets really tricky. It's this plus this plus this plus this. It's really hard. An easier way is to say, well, the friends walked for an hour, let's say, and if the fly goes 20 miles an hour, then the fly went 20 miles in that time, right? Because they were moving for an hour. No matter what's going on here, the fly was going for an hour total, and so that would have been 20 miles if it was going 20 miles an hour. And so that's sort of um, how we can handle these infinity problems, where we can take a situation, we can try to look at it from the infinity point of view, as well as sort of um, the finite point of view. So here's one more example. Um, Imagine trying to cut a cake into quarters, uh, into thirds, but you could only cut it into quarters. So you have a cake, you have a square cake. You need to cut it into four pieces each time, but you want to split it among three people. What can you do? Well, one insight is actually to do the following. You take the cake and you cut it into four pieces. Give one piece to each person, and the remainder, cut that into four pieces. Give one piece to each person, cut the remainder into four pieces again, and so on and so on. And as you can see, each person, right, the gray, the black, and the white, each person is getting the same share. So if this could be done for infinite time, well, no person gets ahead from the other, and so it looks like it's being cut into thirds. And, um, you know, depending on uh, the theories of math that you use, yeah, that's, you know, the limit of this is actually being cut into thirds, right? Because it's never unfair to anyone. Everybody's got the same amount. So this is sort of the infinite viewpoint that would give you kind of a third, third, third cut. And so the key idea behind calculus is that we can cut shapes into an infinite number of pieces, and that can still have a result we can think about, right? So just how this can sort of point to a third, and this can point to a finite amount, and actually another example I use is letters, we can have a smooth letter or a really pixelated letter, but they all sort of point to the same concept of A. The idea is that an infinite um, process can still point to a finite result, and calculus relies on that just key insight there. So infinity doesn't mean we can't think about it. It just means that in certain, in certain instances, we can have an infinite process point to a finite result. Happy math.